Welcome. Today we will explore the wisdom of the legendary philosopher Marcus Aurelius and his timeless teachings on overcoming fear. Drawing upon his stoic principles and practical strategies, we will guide you on a transformative journey toward liberation from fear's grasp. Here are 10 principles on how to conquer fear and unleashing your inner strength by Marcus Aurelius. Number 1. Understand the nature of fear. Stoic philosophy teaches us that fear is not inherent in the events or circumstances we encounter, but is rather a product of our perceptions and judgments about those events. He emphasizes that it is our thoughts and interpretations that give rise to fear. Fear often arises when we anticipate negative outcomes, envision potential dangers, or project negative scenarios onto the future. It is fueled by our tendency to imagine worst-case scenarios and dwell on potential harm, loss, or failure. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to recognize that our fears are often based on assumptions, biases, and subjective interpretations rather than objective reality. To overcome fear, it is crucial to become aware of our thoughts and examine the underlying beliefs and judgments that generate fear. By questioning the validity of our fearful thoughts, we can gain a more balanced perspective and challenge the automatic responses that drive our fears. Through self-reflection and introspection, we can explore the reasons behind our fears. Are our fears grounded in evidence and rationality, or are they driven by irrational fears and exaggerated expectations? Marcus Aurelius suggests that by examining our thought patterns and acknowledging the influence of our perceptions, we can gain control over our fears. By understanding that fear originates within our minds, we can begin to distance ourselves from its grip. We can recognize that our thoughts and interpretations are within our control and we have the power to reshape them. This realization allows us to approach fearful situations with greater clarity and objectivity. Furthermore, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to cultivate a mindset of acceptance. Instead of resisting or denying fear, we can acknowledge its presence and explore its underlying causes. By accepting fear as a natural emotion and part of the human experience, we can embrace it without allowing it to dictate our actions or hinder our progress. Number 2. Cultivate Self-Awareness Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-awareness as a powerful tool in dealing with fear. Cultivating self-awareness involves developing a deep understanding of yourself, including your fears, triggers, and patterns of thinking. By consciously observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, you can gain insight into the root causes of your fears and begin to address them effectively. To cultivate self-awareness, start by setting aside regular moments of reflection and introspection. Create a space of stillness and solitude where you can delve into your inner world. During this time, pay close attention to your thoughts and emotions as they arise. Observe them without attaching judgments or labels, allowing them to come and go freely. As you engage in this practice, you will begin to identify recurring patterns of fear. Notice the situations, circumstances, or specific triggers that tend to evoke fear within you. By understanding these triggers, you can better anticipate and prepare for them, and even gradually desensitize yourself to their impact. Self-awareness also involves exploring the underlying beliefs and assumptions that fuel your fears. What thoughts or narratives do you consistently tell yourself when confronted with fear? Are these thoughts based on evidence and reality, or are they distorted and exaggerated? By bringing these beliefs to the forefront of your consciousness, you can examine their validity and challenge them when necessary. In addition to thoughts, pay attention to the physical sensations and bodily reactions associated with fear. Fear often manifests in the form of increased heart rate, shallow breathing, muscle tension, or other physiological responses. By becoming attuned to these sensations, you can learn to recognize when fear arises and consciously intervene to regulate your body's response. Self-awareness also involves being honest with yourself about your fears. It requires a willingness to face discomfort and delve into the depths of your emotions. This level of introspection may uncover vulnerabilities or past traumas that contribute to your fears. While it can be challenging, confronting these aspects of yourself allows for healing and growth. As you deepen your self-awareness, you gain a greater sense of control over your fears. By understanding the triggers, thought patterns, and emotions associated with fear, you can respond consciously rather than react impulsively. This heightened awareness empowers you to make conscious choices, 
challenge irrational fears, and develop more constructive ways of thinking and responding. Number 3. Embrace the Present Moment Marcus Aurelius teaches us that fear often arises when we dwell on the past or worry about the future. By shifting our focus to the present moment, we can free ourselves from the grip of fear and find a sense of peace and empowerment. When we ruminate on past events, we may become trapped in regrets, guilt, or fear of repeating past mistakes. Similarly, when we constantly project into the future, we may become consumed by anxiety, uncertainty, and the fear of what may or may not happen. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to break free from these patterns by fully embracing the present moment. To practice embracing the present moment, start by cultivating mindfulness. Mindfulness involves bringing your attention and awareness to the here and now without judgment or attachment. It involves observing your thoughts, emotions, and sensations as they arise without getting carried away by them. By being fully present, you can anchor yourself in the reality of the present moment, which is often more manageable and less fearful than the scenarios our minds conjure. Direct your attention to what is within your control at this very moment. Focus on your breath, the sensations in your body, or the immediate task at hand. By doing so, you create a sense of groundedness and centeredness, allowing fear to lose its grip on your mind. Embracing the present moment also entails accepting things as they are. Resistance to the present moment often exacerbates fear and creates unnecessary suffering. Instead, practice radical acceptance of the current circumstances, even if they are challenging or undesirable. Acknowledge that while you may not have control over external events, you have control over how you respond to them. Redirect your energy towards what you can control in the present moment. This may involve taking practical steps to address a fear or engaging in activities that promote your well-being and personal growth. By focusing on what you can influence and taking deliberate action, you reclaim a sense of agency and reduce the power of fear. Cultivating gratitude is another powerful aspect of embracing the present moment. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to appreciate the blessings and simple joys that exist in our lives right now. Gratitude shifts our focus away from fear and scarcity towards abundance and contentment. Take time to reflect on the things you are grateful for no matter how small they may seem. This practice helps cultivate a positive mindset and fosters resilience in the face of fear. Remember that embracing the present moment is a practice that requires conscious effort and intention. It may take time and patience to develop this mindset, but the benefits are profound. By letting go of past regrets and future worries and by fully immersing yourself in the present moment, you can experience a greater sense of peace, clarity, and freedom from fear. Number 4. Practice Acceptance Stoicism teaches us that fear is a natural and universal human emotion. It is something that everyone experiences at times, regardless of their background or circumstances. Rather than resisting or suppressing fear, he encourages us to practice acceptance, acknowledging its presence without allowing it to control or dictate our actions. Acceptance involves recognizing fear as a normal part of the human experience. It means understanding that experiencing fear does not make us weak or flawed, but simply human. By accepting this truth, we can release the judgment and self-criticism often associated with fear. When we resist or deny fear, we inadvertently give it more power over us. The more we struggle against it, the stronger it becomes. On the other hand, accepting fear allows us to detach from it and maintain inner calm. Acceptance doesn't mean surrendering to fear or allowing it to control our lives. Instead, it is a conscious acknowledgement that fear exists while choosing not to be governed by it. To practice acceptance, start by acknowledging and labeling your fears. When you notice fear arising within you, avoid suppressing or ignoring it. Instead, name it and recognize it for what it is. By giving it a name, you create distance between yourself and the fear, preventing it from overwhelming you. Next, observe your fear without judgment or resistance. Allow it to exist without trying to change or suppress it. This practice of non-judgmental observation helps create a sense of space and detachment, it allows you to maintain a clearer perspective and respond to fear with greater wisdom and intention. Acceptance also involves embracing the discomfort that fear brings. Instead of avoiding or escaping fear, lean into it. Explore its contours and learn from it. This willingness to face fear head-on can lead to personal growth and resilience. Number 5. Reason and Rationality 
Marcus Aurelius believed in the power of reason and rational thinking as a means to counteract irrational fears. He emphasized the importance of examining our fears objectively, questioning their validity, and developing a balanced perspective based on evidence and rationality. When faced with fear, it is natural for our thoughts and emotions to become clouded by biases, assumptions, and irrational beliefs. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to step back and engage in rational thinking to counteract these tendencies. By applying reason, we can bring clarity and objectivity to our fears. Start by identifying the specific fears that plague you. What are the underlying assumptions and beliefs fueling those fears? By articulating them, you can examine their validity and question whether they are based on objective evidence or distorted perceptions. Next, seek evidence and information to challenge your fears. Are there facts or experiences that contradict or undermine your fearful beliefs? Engage in research or seek guidance from trusted sources to gain a broader perspective on the situation. By expanding your knowledge, you can confront your fears with a more informed and rational mindset. Consider alternative interpretations and scenarios. Are there other possible explanations or outcomes that are less fearful than what you envision? By exploring different perspectives, you can challenge the narrow focus of fear and open yourself to more balanced and realistic possibilities. Incorporate critical thinking into your process of examining fears. Look for logical fallacies such as overgeneralization, catastrophizing, or confirmation bias that may be distorting your perception of the situation. By identifying these fallacies, you can consciously correct your thinking and arrive at more rational conclusions. Number six, focus on what you can control. Stoic philosophy teaches us that fear often stems from a sense of powerlessness, which arises when we fixate on external circumstances beyond our control. To overcome fear, it is crucial to identify and focus on the aspects of a situation that are within our control. Start by recognizing that there are factors in life that we cannot change or influence. These may include external events, other people's actions, or unforeseen circumstances. While we cannot control these external factors, we have the power to choose our response and attitude towards them. Direct your energy towards what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and attitudes. Recognize that you have agency over your own mind and how you interpret and respond to situations. By cultivating self-awareness, you can observe and redirect your thoughts in a more constructive and positive direction. Challenge negative and irrational thoughts that contribute to fear. Replace them with more rational and empowering thoughts. Practice reframing situations and finding alternative perspectives that allow you to see possibilities and solutions rather than dwelling on worst-case scenarios. Take action in alignment with your values and goals. Break down your fears into actionable steps and focus on what you can do in the present moment. By taking deliberate and meaningful action, you regain a sense of control and agency over your life. Moreover, cultivate an attitude of acceptance towards the things you cannot control. Recognize that there will always be elements beyond your influence, and it is futile to waste energy and emotions on them. Embrace a mindset of surrendering to the natural flow of life, understanding that resistance only intensifies fear and suffering. Developing a sense of inner peace and contentment can also help overcome fear. Practice gratitude for the things you have and the opportunities available to you. Focus on the present moment and engage fully in the experiences and relationships that bring you joy and fulfillment. By nurturing a positive and grateful mindset, fear loses its grip on your consciousness. Remember that focusing on what you can control is a continuous practice. It requires mindfulness, self-discipline, and a commitment to personal growth. By shifting your attention to what is within your sphere of influence and letting go of what is not, you can alleviate fear cultivate inner peace, and create a more empowered and fulfilling life. Number seven, take action. Stoic philosophy believed that action is often the antidote to fear. While fear can be paralyzing and hold us back, taking action is a powerful way to confront and overcome our fears. By breaking down our fears into manageable steps and gradually facing them, we can build confidence and reduce the grip fear has on us. To begin, identify the specific fears that are holding you back. What are the actions or situations that evoke fear within you? Once you have identified them, break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. By breaking down your fears into actionable items, 
they become less overwhelming and more approachable. Start by taking the first small step towards facing your fear. This could be something as simple as gathering information, seeking support or guidance, or experimenting with a low-risk exposure to the fear-inducing situation. Taking that initial action, no matter how small, begins to shift the balance of power from fear to empowerment. As you gradually face your fears and take action, you will likely experience a sense of accomplishment and increased self-confidence. Each step forward builds momentum and reinforces the belief that you are capable of overcoming your fears. Celebrate your progress and acknowledge the courage it takes to take action in the face of fear. It's important to recognize that the journey of facing fears is not always linear. There may be setbacks or moments of discomfort along the way. However, view these setbacks as learning opportunities and stepping stones towards growth. Embrace the challenges as part of the process and persist in taking action despite any temporary setbacks. Additionally, seek support from others who can provide encouragement and guidance. Share your fears with trusted friends, family, or mentors who can offer valuable insights and perspective. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network can provide the reassurance and motivation needed to continue taking action. Remember that taking action is not about completely eliminating fear, but rather building resilience and developing the capacity to move forward despite fear's presence. It is a process of gradual exposure and stretching your comfort zone. With each action, you expand your boundaries and fear loses its power over you. By embracing a mindset of taking action, you reclaim control over your life and build the confidence necessary to face your fears head on. Remember that the most transformative growth often occurs outside of your comfort zone. Through taking action, you can cultivate resilience, inner strength, and a greater sense of personal empowerment. Number 8. Reflect on Impermanence Marcus Aurelius frequently contemplated the transient nature of life and the impermanence of all things. He recognized that fear often arises from our attachments to things that are temporary and fleeting. To overcome fear, he encourages us to reflect on the impermanence of both positive and negative experiences, cultivating a perspective that helps us detach from fear and find solace in the present moment. Start by acknowledging that everything in life is subject to change. Nothing remains static, and this includes our fears. Reflect on the impermanence of your fears and recognize that they too shall pass. This understanding allows you to create distance between yourself and fear, reducing its hold over you. Consider the nature of both positive and negative experiences. Just as moments of joy and happiness are temporary, so too are moments of fear and anxiety. Reflecting on the impermanence of these emotions helps us realize that they are passing states and not defining aspects of our lives. When fear arises, remind yourself that it is a temporary state of mind. It is not an inherent or permanent characteristic of who you are. This perspective can bring a sense of relief and reassurance, knowing that fear is transient and will eventually fade away. Practice mindfulness and being fully present in the moment. By focusing on the present, you can let go of worries about the past or anxieties about the future. Embrace the ebb and flow of life, understanding that each moment is unique and fleeting. By staying grounded in the present, you can find solace and peace, even in the face of fear. Moreover, reflect on the impermanence of external circumstances. The situations and events that trigger fear are not permanent fixtures. They too will change over time. Recognize that life is a series of ups and downs, and fear is just one part of this ever-changing landscape. This reflection helps put fear into perspective, allowing you to approach it with a sense of detachment and acceptance. Number 9. Visualize the worst-case scenario. Marcus Aurelius suggested that instead of allowing fear to consume us, we should confront it by realistically visualizing the worst possible outcome. By acknowledging and mentally preparing for the worst-case scenario, we take away some of its power. Often we'll find that the imagined consequences are less severe than our initial fears. When fear arises, take a moment to step back and objectively examine the situation. Allow yourself to imagine the worst-case scenario. Consider all the possible outcomes, no matter how unlikely they may be. Visualize the situation in detail, including the challenges, difficulties, and potential setbacks that could occur. As you engage in this visualization exercise, pay attention to your emotions and observe how you respond to the worst-case scenario. 
you might realize that the imagined consequences are not as catastrophic as your initial fears led you to believe. This exercise helps put fear into perspective and often reveals that our worries are exaggerated or based on unfounded assumptions. By mentally preparing for the worst, you are better equipped to face potential challenges. It helps you develop a sense of resilience and confidence knowing that you have already considered the possible difficulties. This mental preparation can empower you to take action and make decisions from a place of rationality rather than being overwhelmed by fear. Furthermore, visualizing the worst-case scenario allows you to take a proactive approach. It enables you to identify potential solutions or strategies to mitigate the negative outcomes. By considering possible contingency plans, you gain a sense of control and preparedness, reducing anxiety and fear. It's important to note that visualizing the worst-case scenario is not meant to dwell on negative thoughts or increase anxiety. The purpose is to confront fear head-on and recognize that even in the worst-case scenario, you have the ability to cope and find solutions. It helps you build resilience and adaptability, which are crucial in navigating challenging situations. Once you have visualized the worst-case scenario, shift your focus towards more positive and constructive thoughts. Use this exercise as an opportunity to reframe your mindset and consider alternative outcomes. Replace irrational fears with more rational perspectives and focus on the steps you can take to prevent or overcome challenges. Remember that this visualization exercise is a tool to manage fear, not a guarantee that the worst-case scenario will actually happen. It provides a sense of preparedness and helps you confront your fears from a place of rationality and strength. By confronting fear through visualization, you diminish its power and gain a clearer understanding of the situation. This empowers you to face your fears with a more balanced and realistic perspective, enabling you to make informed decisions and take purposeful action. Number 10. Seek wisdom from others. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of learning from the wisdom of others. When it comes to overcoming fear, seeking out mentors, books, or teachings can provide valuable insights and guidance. By gaining knowledge and insights from those who have faced similar challenges, you can learn new perspectives and strategies for overcoming fear. Start by identifying the specific fears or challenges you're dealing with. Consider the areas where you feel most vulnerable or where fear has the greatest impact on your life. Once you have identified these areas, seek out resources that address those specific fears. Mentors can provide valuable guidance and support. Look for individuals who have successfully faced and conquered similar fears. They can offer first-hand advice, share their experiences, and provide encouragement. Reach out to mentors in your community or seek online communities where you can connect with individuals who have overcome similar fears. Books and teachings are also excellent sources of wisdom. Look for literature, self-help books, or teachings that address the specific fears you're dealing with. Explore the works of philosophers, psychologists, or experts in the field of personal development who have written about fear and overcoming it. Their insights and strategies can provide you with new perspectives and practical techniques to manage and conquer your fears. Engage in personal growth activities such as workshops, seminars, or online courses focused on fear management or building resilience. These resources often provide a structured approach and tools for understanding and addressing fear. They offer opportunities to learn from experts and connect with others who are on a similar journey.